equal to automation beta. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the RPA challenge, which challenges us uh, to extract these uh, details of this table, uh, download each invoice, and then uh, scan the invoice with particular data. We'll do part one of that today, which is basically just extract the table and download each invoice. Um, let's go and get started. So one of the first things we're going to do is click to open a new Microsoft Edge. And I always like to open my browsers and maximized. I'm going to tell it to go to the uh, RPA Challenge website. Uh, second thing we're going to do step is uh, uh, extract the data from the uh, website itself. So there's the website and let's go ahead and give it a um, extract line and we'll simply then the website and they'll ask us what we would like to extract. We'll start by extracting the first column second column and the third column I'm not gonna bother doing the fourth one and I'll explain why in a minute so that's good so let's go and run it and see what that does and let's go back to the Workflow, and we can see that I exported four columns. Uh, the next step will be to loop through those uh, items. So we'll do a loop command. I'm going to stay. This starts at. We start at one. I'm going to end at. Uh, the four uh, four rows. We'll end at uh, data count. Uh, rows count of the uh, variable data from web page and we'll increment that by one save uh, next we'll simply click on uh, each image in the table here so we'll click on one of these in, uh, images Go and do that, uh, and we'll say add an IUI element. I will go ahead and right click, sorry, uh, left click on this. <laughs> to add that. Now the challenge now is that um, this will click on the first one but it will then uh, fail. It won't go to the other ones. So let's go and see that. So there's the first one. And it just keeps opening the same invoice over and over. As you can see, which means it's looping through the line items, through the rows, but opening the same invoice over and over. And that's because it doesn't know how to go to the next one. So let's go back to our, our automate. And uh, we're going to take a look at that uh, UI element. And uh, I'll switch that to text editor. And you can see it's just opening the very first one. Uh, so let's go ahead and investigate, see what we can do here. So uh, let's go ahead and open our developer tool and investigate, see what's going on there. So we'll go ahead and uh, click on the first image here and we'll uh, copy this uh, selector. And um, here, 
it is. You can see that this is uh, row one, fourth column. Um, so you would think the next one would be um, row two, column four. So we'll click on that. Oops. And uh, copy the selector here as well. And it does exactly what I think it would do. So um, right here, you can see that the first row, fourth column, second row, fourth column. So what we need to do is uh, copy one of these. Copy one of these, uh, navigate back to our selector, UI element. Drop it here. And uh, tell it to increase this one, row number, each time it goes to the loop. So loop index. Because the loop index is going to change, increase by one every time it goes to the loop. So let's go and click save. And uh, so right now we're opening the web page, extracting the data, and looping through it. And each time we loop, uh, our UI selector is gonna uh, change slightly so that it can pick up each of those invoices. So let's go ahead and click run. There's the first invoice, second invoice, third invoice, and uh, fourth invoice. So we were able to loop through all for invoices and uh, download. And so that'll be it for today. That's the uh, RPA challenge. Uh, please uh, don't forget to follow us, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.